Conflict and controversy worsening at the state capitol in what appears to be an increasingly ugly power struggle between the top three Republican leaders in Texas. Fox 26's political reporter Greg Rugen here to fill us in on these latest developments. Greg. Yeah, Caroline, this is nothing short of turning prosperity into adversity. As if the criminal indictment of a former president and the impeachment of a GOP state attorney general weren't enough, complete and utter Republican control of Texas government has somehow spun into a Republican on Republican on Republican cage fight over billions of dollars of tax relief. Some women are being forced to play against biological men. At the state capitol, Governor Greg Abbott casting himself in the role of protector, signing into law a measure banning trans females from competing against biological females in Texas collegiate athletics. Women in Texas can be assured that the integrity of their sports will be protected in Texas. Ironically, 200 miles away in Dallas, Abbott was under heavy fire for failing to protect the financial interest of more than 5 million Texas homeowners. The governor could end this today if he just came out and said, I stand with the average homeowners of Texas. That's Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, leader of the state Senate, talking about his chamber's plan to increase the homestead exemption permanently from forty to $100,000 for every primary residence in Texas. Abbott and House Speaker Dade Phelan oppose that measure, preferring instead to give businesses and commercial property owners a bigger rebate from the state's record surplus. The dispute has generated an increasingly ugly impact. Pass. I don't like to be in a fight with the House or the governor, but we're not going to take money out of the pockets of the average Texan and give it to the wealthiest Texans and give it to big business. So far, neither the House nor the governor has budged. According to Patrick, Abbott is now threatening to veto scores of Senate bills if a deal doesn't get done by Sunday. The lieutenant governor says that kind of strong arm leverage is a bad look and just won't work. This is real money for real people, hardworking people. So how much money are we talking about? Increasing the homestead exemption will save the average homeowner $1,200 to $1,400 per year permanently. Roughly twice as much as the House plan, with that tax relief all but certain to expire within a couple of years. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.